Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to our awesome and fun Pokemon challenge here today on the road to Omega will be an Alpha Sapphire. Of course, that's coming out in November and I hope you guys are still hyped up for it because I still am. I know a lot of you tend to forget when that game is coming out because it's still going to be a while. Of course, November is still a long time away, but still, I am so ready to play that game when it comes out. But anyways, other than that guys, thank you again for joining me here today on another awesome on another awesome beautiful day so i really appreciate you guys for watching my videos as you guys already know but anyways thank you for coming down here and this is gonna be home pokedex challenge number eight so we've already gone through one two three four five six seven um so it's looking good so far we're almost at episode 10 and uh anyways aside from that that really has nothing to do with this anyways we have six new fabulous pokemon series on the ones on the po Hoenn Pokedex list, of course. Um, so these six Pokemon are freaking awesome here, and I can't wait to rip them out. Now, before we begin, let's briefly recap on what happened on episode one to seven. So basically, we so far have, I believe, ten win and ten wins and four losses. So that's ten to four. So unfortunately, we did get a double loss last episode. So that really sucks, unfortunately. But uh, Hopefully today we'll do better. Hopefully I really don't want to get another double loss. Of course um, I really don't think we will get a double loss because this is an awesome team. So let's go through it right now That's gonna be a choice banded Dodrio. So Dodrio hits pretty damn hard with a choice band physical attack and set and a Swalla is a bold physical tank which is pretty freaking awesome for a poison type Pokemon as well and Sharpedo of course is a protect speed boost life or physical attacker. That's freaking awesome. Sharpedo is a beast and then we have Whalemur Whale, not Whalemur, Whale Lord, Choice Scarfed, uh, Special Attacker with Water Spout. You know, Water Spout is just freaking awesome. And then we have Camera, which is a Choice Specs all around attacker, which is going to hit extremely hard with Fire Blast, Earth Power, and such. And then we also finally have Macargo here today. Uh, Macargo is probably the least, least wanted on this team, but Macargo is obviously of course on the whole pokedex list so i did have to fit in my cargo and my cargo is not a bad pokemon um it's just that there's just a lot of other pokemon that do it better and unfortunately my Mar 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 cargo has four times weakness to two types which is gonna be ground and water so unfortunately my cargo suffers a lot uh, so unfortunately i had to give it a focus sash i couldn't give it anything else and it's just kind of there to stall i think Hopefully, we'll just get to see what happens, guys. And I'm excited to begin this challenge. I hope you guys are excited as well. Um, I'm pretty excited to see Dodrio, Swellow, you know, Sharpedo, Whalemur, Camerup. I mean, not Whalemur. I keep saying Waylord as in Whalemur. It's actually Waylord, of course. Camerup and such. Um, I want to see all those Pokemon in action. So I'm excited. Let's take a look at our opponent, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff has uh, Mega Lucario, Rotom Wash, Mega Charizard X for Y, Mega Absol, Meow Stick, and... Wow, three Mega Pokemons. I'm pretty sure all three of them may have a Mega Stone, but that really wouldn't make sense. You really want to only bring two Mega Pokemons to each battle spot because, of course, you can only use three Pokemons. So uh, maybe that Lucario is not a Mega Pokemon. We'll have to see. And then that's a Whimsy Cut. So it's a pretty threatening team. He's got a lot two Pranksters on his team, so that's going to be pretty damn annoying. Now I'm thinking if he has anything against my Swallow. And it looks like his Bialystic actually is against my Swallow, so that's unfortunate because I was planning to bring my Swallow. Uh, Swallow would a great would be a great lead, but uh, I think I'll just start off with my Cargo first. Hopefully, he doesn't bring Rotom Wash. Uh, maybe he will because I do have two Fire Pokemon on my team, uh, which will suck. So I have one minute to decide on the first three Pokemon that are gonna come out right now, and I think we should send out. Um, maybe not my Cargo then. Maybe not my Cargo. Maybe should, we should just go for a Swallow, but uh, nah, you know what? Let's just go with my Cargo. Let's just hope that he doesn't bring his Rotom Watch. That's really what I'm hoping for. So let's go for my Cargo first. And then let's go for Waylord and um, my Cargo, Waylord, and hmm, Camera or Dodrio. I'm really thinking, you know what? I think I should just bring Dodrio. So let's see what happens here. Um, maybe I should have brought Swallow as well. That would be that would have been pretty funny if I had two tanks. But I think I'll save Swallow for the next game because we do obviously we up. It's not a great good idea to have two tanks. I think on the same team, it's probably not a great idea. But let's take a look at what Jeff has, and I'm excited to see what he brings. And he sends a Rotom Watch, of course. So that freaking sucks. Um, definitely should have not brought my cargo. Should have definitely brought Swallow up there. And he's going cargo is carrying toxic recovery, infestation, and lava plume. Um, yeah, you know, I'm definitely not switching out. I am not switching out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I could switch out to my Waylord, but um, 
I don't know, you know, I don't know if there's, if there's gonna be any point in switching my, switching out to my Waylord, I might just go for a Volt Switch. Which I highly doubt, of course, I think he's just gonna go straight up for a Water Attack. Um... I don't know if there's any, I don't think there's any reason to keep him a cargo round, so I'm just gonna go for a Infestation, and, whoa, he's gonna go for a Substitute, so that's freaking strange. So I guess maybe he thought I was gonna switch out? But that's quite unfortunate because I kind of just went for a lava plume instead. But I, I'm kind of because that infestation did nothing, of course. Um, and he's probably gonna go for a hydro pump now, and um, it's gonna bring me down, bring me down to my sash. Uh, my lava plume is gonna do nothing, of course. So this is quite unfortunate that I decided to choose my Macargo. I mean, unfortunately, my cargo just can't do very much against uh, Rotom Wash. I really don't have anything against this Rotom Wash. Um, and the substitute is finally faded. Wow, that that kind of surprised me because I didn't think um, a lava plume would actually take out his. Um, and he's gonna go for a discharge, so that's pretty 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 strange because I've never seen any Rotom Wash carrying discharge. Uh, but anyways, at least I broke the substitute. That's what mattered. And I'm gonna go right ahead for Dodrio. Hopefully this uh, Rotom Wash is no, this Rotom Wash is not Choice Scarf. What am I thinking? Um, so here's cool Dodrio. Look at that three angry heads. It looks like angry birds, eh? <laughs> uh, Dodrio is such a cool Pokemon. I love it. Dodrio is carrying Brave Bird, Return, Quick Attack, and Pursuit. I got Choice Band, so I think this Choice Banded Return should kill this Rotom. It should be no problem. And yeah, that's what I thought. Um, it has a rocky helmet, so it was what? Oh my goodness, it has a rocky helmet. I don't think it was physically defensive, I can tell you that much. Uh, maybe it was. But uh, if it was, I don't think it would have died in one return, so I actually don't think that's physically defensive. I don't know why he was carrying Rocky Helmet, but then again, he also had Discharge, so I'm pretty sure, I'm not really sure what he was thinking. Because you'd probably want to carry Volt Switch uh, to get momentum and stuff like that. And uh, I am... Oh great, this sucks. Because I am faster than this Lucario, but uh, my return is not going to do anything. Uh, so I'm going to switch out to my Waylord. Um... Hopefully this is not Mega Lucario, but I'm pretty sure it is, which means I think I just made the worst mistake of my life, guys. Uh, once again, I'm always making these stupid mistakes because there's really no point in switching out. Because um, he's going to be faster than my guy. Anyways, he's going to go for a nasty plot. Holy crap. Nasty plot. So it's a special attack of Variant. Let's see if our Wailer does enough to take it out. I'm carrying Water Spout, and that's really the only thing that we need to know about. And let's go. There's there's a Choice Scarf Water Spout. Um... Oh baby, that kills Lucario. Holy crap, guys. Oh baby. Uh, so Waylord is freaking beast there. And uh, yeah, there it goes down. Lucario, so screw your nasty plot. Um, and I should be faster than this Charizard as well. Uh, with Choice Scarf, Waylord is amazing. And holy crap, Waylord just totally swept this entire team. I can't believe Waylord is also one of my favorite Pokemon, guys. Holy crap. So looks like we have a win today. So that's going to be 11 wins and 4 losses. So it looks like Waylord is looking for the MVP slot right now. Um, I definitely actually didn't think Waylord was going to compete for MVP spot because uh, Waylord is obviously not the best Pokemon out there. There are definitely better Pokemon that you could use instead of Waylord, but I am very surprised that Waylord performed very well. So let's hit the challenge button again because we know every challenge comes with two battles, um, of course. And uh, let's see what happens in our second battle. So remember, guys, it is 11 wins and 4 loss so far, and Waylord is definitely on the MVP spot right now. And uh, Dodrio, Dodrio did an awesome job taking out Rotom Wash, which was going to be a problem for my Waylord to water spout everybody. So, so it was a good job for my Dodrio to take it out. So anyways, Here's our new opponent here, and um, let's see what he decided to bring. He has, oh my goodness, Lucario again. Uh, probably Mega Lucario, and Greninja, Talonflame, Noivern, Aegislash, and Gardevoir. Holy crap, that's a, this team is more dangerous than the last team, of course, because of Aegislash and Talonflame, and Greninja. Those three are very threatening Pokemon, as we all know. And that's probably a Mega Gardevoir as well. So, he has two possible Mega Pokemons, and I'm gonna predict that he's gonna bring his Mega Lucario because uh, why not? Lucario is better than Gardevoir, so we'll just use our other three, other three Pokemons, and I'm gonna set a Swallow first, uh, Sharpedo, and a Camera. So let's see how this works out. Now, Sharpedo and Camera, you guys know, are the arch rival Pokemon, sort of, because they are the main Pokemon of Team Magma and Team Aqua. So that is quite interesting, something to note. So we do have two arch rivals on the same chat. So let's see who will perform better Team Aqua, Sharpedo, or Team Magma's camera. So I'm excited to see 
who is going to outperform and who is going to win that MVP slot. Now, of course, Sharpedo does have a slight advantage because Sharpedo is a better Pokemon than Camerup. So we'll see if Camerup can pull it off. We'll see. Um, I'm still, I still love Camera and Sharpedo equally. I love these two Pokemon. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely love these two Pokemon. So, anyways, let's see what our opponent decided to bring first. Um, we're definitely going to be seeing Talonflame, and that's a Noivern first. So I'm kind of surprised. I did not expect Noivern to come out first. Now, my Swallow is physically defensive, so that could be a problem. Um, because I do not take a Draco meter to the face very, uh, very well. I'm carrying Acid Spray, Yawn, Paint Split, and Encore. Um, now, this is definitely not the best move move set. I could have definitely got rid of Yawn or Encore. I really don't need both of them. Uh, but I really don't know if he's going to go for an attack or maybe he's going to go for a U-turn. I don't know what the hell he's going to go for. So, I hope he goes for a Draco meter. and Because then that means I can get a Paint Split off. So, he's going to go for a Super Fang. Wow. So, you know what? That means I can still get my paint split off fine, so that's okay. Um, I maybe should have went for an Encore. I'm not sure. Uh, but it looks like he's just going to go for a Super Fang. Keep, he's going to keep going for it because it looks like he knows I'm a tank. Um, he probably knows I'm going to go for a paint split. He probably does. I'm just going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Yawn. That's really the best choice I have right now. He's going to keep going for a Super Fang as, as expected. It's never going to kill. Uh, but he might switch out next turn because he doesn't want to go to sleep, of course. So I could predict again and go for a Yawn or Paint Split. I'm going to go for a Paint Split right now. So whoever, even if he decides to switch out, I'll take a bunch of health back. Um, if he decides to stay in, I'll still take health either ways. So let's see what this guy is. Maybe he's Choice Scarfed. Um, I'm not sure. I just didn't think that Noivern would carry a Super Fang first time I seen so that's what I thought he was going to check because he does not want to be asleep. And uh, this looks like he didn't bring, you know, he looks like he didn't bring Gardevoir because he could have easily just switched out his Gardevoir and went for a Stab, Side Shock, or Psychic. And that would have ended my Swallow's life. Now let's see if this Greninja can take me out with a Dark Pulse or so. Uh, let's, go to, let's go for a... Uh, let's go for... We could go for a Yawn again. But uh, I'm just going to go for a paint split because I think he'll just, I don't think Yawn is the best choice in this case. And he's not a protein Grand Ninja, so that is quite interesting to see actually. Um, that Ice Beam did nothing, obviously because Grand Ninja without protein I think is pretty bad. So if you are using Grand Ninja, you probably want to use the protein Grand Ninja. But of course if you can't get it, it is totally fine. Um, now this paint split stall is working pretty well actually. I'm pretty surprised that it's not doing that too bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be a problem. But uh, not really, not really, not much of a problem. And I'm just going to keep going for a paint split. He might decide to just switch out. No, he's going to keep going for an ice beam. So this is what I thought. So it, it is just base, best idea for me to... Oh my goodness, of course you get a froze. You, of course you get a freeze. Oh my goodness, I thought out. Thank you so much, Swallet. Uh, God, I love this guy. Uh, love the mustache, by the way, Swallet. I love your mustache. And uh, I'm just going to keep paint, paint. This is totally, this is really funny. It's just going to be paint split stall. Uh, the entire time, basically, until something happens. Unless I could switch out, I guess, um, into my Sharpedo or something, but it's not worth it. I'm just going to stay in. He's just going to keep trying to get a freeze off. Please do not get frozen again, Swallow. Um, that almost cost us the game right there. So, good thing you saw it out as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah, I'm just keep trying to uh, bring this Greninja as low as possible so my Sharpedo can come in and finish this guy's Greninja and he's gonna go he's gonna go for a hydro pump and uh, that might be able to take out my swallow yeah that's what I thought so he goes for his uh, hydro pump finally he should have done that earlier actually in my opinion and I'm gonna go for his Sharpedo right now now let's see if he can predict my uh, protect if he does then that's that's really bad for me because I need to outspeed this Greninja and Sharpedo's speed is only 95 so I'm gonna have to go for a protect right now uh, because I do need to get the one speed boost off and I should be fine and nope he did not predict my protect protect so he's gonna stay in and use an attack or whatever he's gonna go for an ice beam so it looks like he doesn't even have okay it looks like he's carrying hydro pump ice beam and dark pulse and something else he definitely does not have grass knot or he would have went for it and um I have crunch and waterfall and I just realized 
that these two attacks are resisted by Greninja. This guy's not protein, so that really sucks. It would have been better if he was a protein Greninja. But uh, I'm going to go for a waterfall. Hopefully this kills. I do have a life orb. Oh my goodness, he has a water shuriken. Um, so this guy is a multi-attacker. Wow. I didn't think people would carry like water shuriken and special attacks all at the same time. So that's pretty funny. I wish I did have Ice Beam on my Sharpedo because uh, that Noivern is going to be a big, big trouble. Um, Noivern is, Noivern is going to be a big trouble for sure because I don't think I can one-hit KO it with Crunch. Although I have Destiny Bond, so I could just go for a Des I could go for a Destiny Bond. That's right. I totally forgot about my, about my Destiny Bond. But what if, what if my Crunch does kill? You know what? I'm just gonna look it up for a second. Oh no, he sends out Aegis Slash, so never mind. Never mind, guys. Um, but he's gonna go for a Sacred Sword. He's gonna. He's definitely. He's definitely gonna go for a Sacred Sword. Uh, or he might have Weakness Policy as well, and he might use a Sword Stance and go for a Shadow Sneak. I have no idea. I have no idea what's gonna happen, guys. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for a. I don't think one crunch is gonna kill this Aegis Slash. I really, really don't think so. So I'm gonna go for a Destiny Bond actually, and it's gonna go for a King's Shield to lower my attack. Holy crap! What a nice play. I totally forgot about King's Shield. So you know what? Destiny Bond was a fine play by me. And uh, yeah, he definitely used that King's Shield. To try to prevent me from uh, one hit KOing it. Now, I might go for a Destiny Bond again, but he might predict it. So, I'm just gonna go for a Crunch right now. Um, so, hopefully, this Crunch can kill, but highly, highly doubt this Aegis Slash will go down in one hit. And he does not have Weakness Policy, that, so that is pretty good. And he's trying to go for a Substitute. Um, I guess he thought that I was gonna go for a Destiny Bond or something. Um, he might. Now, here's the tricky part he might go for a King Shield right now. Uh, so that will really suck if I do go f if he goes for a King Shield right now, because I'm planning to go for a Destiny Bomb, but he might go for a Substitute. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he has enough HP to make a Substitute. So, you know what? I'm gonna go for a Crunch. Hopefully, he doesn't go for no, nope, 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 no, 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 no. Never mind, guys. So I definitely got decoyed there. So that really, really, really sucks. Um, so. This crunch should still kill this uh, Aegis Slash, no, um, even though I am at minus 2 now. Uh, unfortunately, that does really suck that I did get a minus 2, because I definitely could have had a chance to get He's going to go for a King Shield. Oh my goodness, it failed. This guy is trying really, really hard to uh, stall out my Sharpedo right now. But uh, that should be enough to take him out. Thank goodness. And now I'm going to go for a Destiny Bond, because no matter what you do, unless you go for a Super Fang, but uh, you're going to kill me regardless. Uh, so... And even if you have a Choice Garb, I think I do have enough speed boosts to take out your Noivern with a uh, Destiny Bond. So you know what? We just have a Sharpedo Sweep right now. Holy crap, guys. Uh, I can't believe we just had a Sharpedo Sweep right now. And I'm going to go for a Destiny Bond. And uh, goodbye to both of us. He probably knows I'm going to go for a Destiny Bond. I love Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond is like one of the best moves ever. I love this move. Uh, because you always are able to take down an opponent that you can't take out anyways. And uh, he's gonna go for a thief. Holy crap, this guy. He's probably not even carrying an item. I just realized. No, he is carrying an item. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. He's probably trying to stall my Destiny Bonds out. I think that's what he's trying to do, guys. Um, I'm just gonna go for a Destiny Bond again. I still have 3 PP on it. And I'd love to see Destiny Bond activate because uh, I'm really not sure if Camera can handle this. Uh, I don't think my Camera can handle this guy very well. Although I do have Ancient Power. Uh, but you know what, at this point, I'm going to go for a Crunch. Because you know what, I kind of do want to see Camera in action. Because we didn't get to see Camera in action. So you know what, I think we should just... I think I think we should just let the Sharpedo die to whatever he's going to do. Oh my goodness. He had a red card. Wow, that is very interesting. He had a red card, guys. He's going to go for a Super Fang. Okay, I don't know what the hell this guy is carrying, guys. He's carrying an item and he has a Thief. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, my camera has ancient power, so we'll get to see some cam- Oh my goodness, he has a Draco meter, so you know what? I totally fell for it, but uh, it doesn't even matter because I will be able to kill you next turn anyways. So, and your special attack harshly fell about. That's quite unfortunate because... Actually, I was pretty damn careless there. I was pretty damn careless, um, honestly, there. I should have been more careful there. So unfortunately, we didn't see any camera up to action there. 
Um, we're gonna go for a protect right now. And I think my one crunch should be able to take out this god darn Noivern. This Noivern was very, very annoying, guys. Um, so I, I just got very careless there. He's gonna try to go for a U turn. So I see what this guy's doing. I see what he's doing. He's definitely, um, he definitely played very, he definitely played, played very smartly at this last point because he knows he's not gonna be able to win. Uh, if he doesn't use Draco Meter to finish out my camera up, then, you know, he was using Thief to stall out my Destiny Bonds, but you know what? That is right, that's how, that's how I win my game, guys. So, Sharpedo got a sweep here, and unfortunately, camera up didn't see any action, although I really wanted to show you guys how camera up works. But anyways, that is 12 wins and 4 losses. That's an extremely good ratio we have going on, guys. So, that, what is that? That's 3 wins per loss or something like that. So that is a very good ratio. 3 to 1. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this one. Um, and uh, I'll be coming back with another home challenge next day, of course. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day, of course. And uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos on my channel, please do. Because I do have some more awesome challenges on the road to America Ruby and Alpha Zapper. So anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, have a nice day, everybody.